Hello everyone. I have a strong passion for inverter projects. I'm also earning money by selling the products I design. Today's project is one that I commercialized a long time ago. It works reliably and comes at a very affordable price, especially suitable for markets with lower income levels. This inverter has a rated power of 2000 watts, and most importantly, it features a built-in charging mode. You can connect the inverter to the grid and it will recharge your battery for you. You can see that when in inverter mode, the clamp meter will display the current with a negative sign. This means the battery is supplying power to the load. In charging mode, however, the current shows a positive sign. The current is being used to charge the battery, and the battery voltage is gradually increasing. This battery was recycled from an old vehicle, so it cannot provide a large current. I'm only using it to demonstrate to you how this circuit works. Just like many of my other projects, I'm sharing this one completely free and open source. You can copy it, tweak it, or even turn it into a product if you want. And if you'd like to give a little support to my work, you can order your PCBs from JLCPCB. They're one of the biggest PCB manufacturers out there, and their boards are top-notch. On top of that, they also offer services like 3D printing, PCBA, and more. Just head over to JLCPCB.com and check them out. Oh, and if you sign up today through the link below this video, you can grab a discount coupon worth up to $70. Don't miss it! I ordered about 50 PCBs around two weeks ago, and every single one of them was perfect. The more you order, the cheaper the price gets. And if you're working with SMD components, you can also take advantage of JLCPCB's PCBA service. I've tested their service many times before, and the experience has always been amazing. Here's one of my PCBA orders with JLCPCB, absolutely flawless. Back to our project, this inverter uses the SG3525IC to generate a 50 Hz oscillation for driving the MOSFETs. When in charging mode, the SG3525 stops operating and the internal diodes of the MOSFETs take over, rectifying the AC voltage into DC to recharge the battery. This is a simple design without any microcontroller, yet it works very reliably. The assembly process is also very simple, as all component values are clearly printed on the PCB. Moreover, I used 100% through-hole components for this project. 
Even if you are a beginner, you can easily assemble them. You should start the assembly with the smaller components first, such as resistors and diodes. Components with the same values should be soldered at the same time to avoid confusion. After that, move on to larger components like capacitors, ICs, and potentiometers. Be sure to pay attention to the polarity of components such as diodes and capacitors.
This small potentiometer is used to adjust the operating frequency. You can set the frequency to either 50 Hz or 60 Hz as you like. Although the output waveform is only a modified sine wave, with a finished cost of just $4 for 1,000 watts of power, I think there's really nothing to complain about. It will work well with all household loads. The only thing is, with motor loads, you may hear a slight humming sound. 